Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today I thought I'd do uh, take a look at the new Ubuntu 17.10, which is the first version of Ubuntu uh, that uses GNOME instead of Unity. And so I'm taking a look at <clears throat> how the uh, GNOME desktop is configured. And I'll get into that uh, in a little more detail just in a moment. But first of all, I'd like to give you an update on my uh, PC build and my motherboard issues. Um, I went ahead and changed the motherboard from an Asus motherboard to an ASRock Z97 motherboard. And what a big improvement. I'm able to get into the BIOS when I need to, um, but since I have on this computer, as I, as I mentioned, I have Linux, Windows, and Mac. And basically the way I have it set up now, when I turn on the computer, it automatically goes to the Clover bootloader, which is uh, the Mac, uh, it's part of the Mac installation. So Clover comes up and gives me uh, a choice of Windows, Linux, or Mac. However, the Windows isn't activating properly. So essentially it's giving me uh, Mac, uh, which is Sierra, and Linux. When I select Mac, of course, I go right into Mac. If I sec select Linux, it brings up the, my Grub screen, which also includes my Windows install which works fine so basically on a on a day-to-day -day basis I don't even have to go into the BIOS unless of course I'm doing another Linux install and booting from a USB then I would go into the boot menu and select the USB but everything's working terrific no problems at all <clears throat> uh, so finally get that all squared away now getting over to GNOME this is the uh, the Ubuntu version 1710 which uh, comes with GNOME out of the box the GNOME desktop versus Unity however because of a little bit of outcry from the Unity users uh, Ubuntu is now including this dock that you see on the left um, and basically what's happening is with if you if you install uh, Ubuntu 1710 as soon as you do the update you will end up with this dock on the left it's very reminiscent of unity <clears throat> however it's using the dock uh, dash to dock extension now the way they've got it configured is they basically give you a few options but the configurability of that panel on the left is limited when you're using the Ubuntu dock. So for example, let me pull up the, the extensions that I have installed. Now, this is what it comes with, Ubuntu dock. I installed dash to dock which gives you a lot more configurability and you can make it look exactly the way the Ubuntu dock looked but you have a little bit more options uh, for, as far as the width of the dock things like that so basically I'm not using Ubuntu dock uh, even though it shows on if I turn it off you'll see there's nothing changing uh, because I've got dash to dock configured the way I want it and this works perfectly so that's the way I'm going to leave it now um, I have mixed feel feelings about GNOME in that normally I'm not a big fan of GNOME because it limits your um, desktop aesthetics so you don't have as much flexibility as you do with let's say XFCE uh, but this I have to admit this particular install seems to be really really stable and really really configurable so I've got it pretty much the way I want it now the advantages of this desktop is that it's very clean 
um, you can you can add extensions to it I don't want to add too many extensions but I've got just enough to make it uh, livable day to day f uh, for my needs um, I'll tell you where I ran into a problem this particular version doesn't play well with some of the application menu extensions so if I go in and try to install for example if I go into extensions and I search for applications let's say I wanted to and this frippery applications menu is pretty nice um, it's a minimal applications menu if I try to install it it automatically shuts itself off it won't let me install it if I go to a different one this applications menu here which is reminiscent of cinnamon if I try to install it it won't stay it automatically shuts off so consequently after going through about half a dozen different applications uh, menus and trying to install those as uh, extensions I um, was not able to so what I did was I put this particular applications menu up top here even though I have it down at the bottom I just stuck that at the top so I did add a places menu which is very convenient and there's a mounted drive menu here uh, which I find very convenient. So, all in all, I've only had a, a few problems with extensions. Now, one of the things I noticed that's different than most other desktop environments, when I installed Ubuntu, right out of the box I had no screen tearing. I installed my NVIDIA drivers and then I did a screen tearing test and I had no screen tearing. I didn't have to install Compton. I didn't have to install any NVIDIA commands. No screen tearing right out of the box. So that's a big positive. Now it's been stable and solid. I haven't had any lockups, no freezes, uh, no issues other than the extensions. Now the dark theme is what I have installed and that is configurable within the settings. Now I also installed uh, GNOME Tweaks which gives me a few more configuration options and you can see I have the global dark theme enabled. So I've got GNOME Tweaks along with the uh, normal settings menu. Now my printer was configured right out of the box also which was very nice did not have to install anything to get that to work now as you can see there are tons and tons of extensions available and basically you I've got it sorted by popularity you just go through and pick the ones that you want again I'm trying to keep it very minimal as far as the number of extensions installed now, as I'm as I said, I'm using Dash to Dock versus the stock uh, dock that that comes with the update. Now, as far as gaming, I haven't had any issues. I've got Steam installed, I've got War Thunder installed, and I've got BattleNet installed, and I have not had any issues. So you can see Hearthstone, Blizzard. Uh, I've got Steam installed and no problems whatsoever. So if you're into gaming, you shouldn't have any issues at all. Now, a few th negatives. With Ubuntu, I don't see any way to uh, control the position of your open windows. So for example, in most of the desktop environments you can set windows to open 
either in a smart placement which basically looks for an open spot on your desktop or centering the windows normally I select centering I do not see any option for centering of windows so for example if I open a window <clears throat> this one went a little off center if I open another one that one went in the center that one's in the center but if you notice on uh, for example file well that one's terminal yeah the terminal goes in top left and it it goes under the dock and I haven't found a way around that so it's the 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 positioning is not bad but it's not fully centered the way I normally prefer it but for you that might not be a big deal and actually for me it's not a major issue <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and keep running uh, this Ubuntu 1710 now as I said it's not as configurable however um, you know and, and I'm referring to basically the aesthetics of the desktop panel placement dock uh, menus things like that uh, but I do have my system tray icons and that is an extension that I enabled now there is a help app this little question mark icon very very nice it's got a lot of different topics to get you started with GNOME so if you are not familiar with GNOME then you can just click on the help app and it'll give you a ton of topics that you can uh, take a look through and get some help if you're beginning to configure GNOME for the first time now I will say that when I found out that Ubuntu was taking unity away and putting GNOME in its place I wasn't too happy about it uh, but I have to say that um, so far so good I mean I don't have any major issues with it and if you're if you're a normal GNOME user then certainly you'll be happy to see this now from what I've read Ubuntu is going to have an unofficial uh, unity option so while they don't support it officially evidently there'll be some um, ability to inject the unity desktop into Ubuntu and we'll see how that goes I haven't seen any indication of that but um, we'll see down the road once uh, 1710 is officially released and certainly once the uh, 18, uh, 1804 once that comes out uh, then they may shed a little more light on that so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, this is the Ubuntu 1710 it is a um, th this is the latest daily release it is beta I would not trust it for your day-to-day -day operating system uh, it's just not uh, since it isn't a an official release just be wary uh, you can fool around with it play with it but do it either in a virtual machine or in a separate petition so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care